What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar lesson for High Horse by Casey Musgraves. If you like this video and it helps you out, hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs from Casey Musgraves that you want to learn on guitar. The first thing you need to know for High Horse is that we're gonna have a capo on second fret. The next thing you wanna know for High Horse is the five chords we need to play this song. The first one is F. The next one is E minor. The next one is A minor. The next one is D minor. And the last one is G. And I'll have chord charts in the comments below, as well as an alternate way to play that F for the beginners out there. Guys, we're gonna start with verse and the first half of the chorus. Those are gonna be the same progression and it's gonna be F, F once more, A minor, and G. And our strum pattern for that is gonna be down, down, up, down, down, down kind of with pauses there. So we're gonna have down, down, up, small pause, down, down, small pause, down. And that's gonna be our strum pattern for each chord. So when you put that progression with that strum pattern, it should look about like this. From there, we're gonna go to our pre-chorus and bridge chords. That's gonna be D minor, A minor, and E minor, and E minor once more. And our chord progression, or our strum pattern rather, is gonna be down, and then we go down, and then quick change for each chord. So it's gonna be down, down, change, down, change, down, change kind of, but we're already on E minor. That's kind of how it's gonna work. So when you put that chord progression with that strum pattern, our pre-choruses and bridges should look about like this. Guys, the last chord progression we need to tackle is the second half of the chorus. But before we get into that, I'm gonna show you all this little riff that kind of plays throughout that second part of the chorus as well as in the bridge. So what that's gonna be is a second fret on G, fifth fret on G, second fret on G, fifth fret on D, third fret on A, and then second fret on D. And that's it guys, that's that whole progression right there. That's that whole picking progression. So when you put all that together, it should look about like this. And guys, the very last thing we need for high horse is gonna be the second half of our chorus chords. That progression is gonna be F, D minor, A minor, and G. And our strum pattern for that is going to be down, down, up, down, down, down. The same as the verse and first half of the chorus. So when you put all that together, it should look about like this. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play high horse on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 435 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually post three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you have any song requests, I do about two of those from the comments every single week, but I get a ton of them. So if you want to guarantee that I'll get to your song request, hit up my Patreon, links in the description. Guys, I can't even begin to tell you how stoked I am for Casey's new album. I'm a huge Casey Musgraves fan. I just saw her last month in concert and man, her first two albums and her Christmas album, I just, I, I have them on repeat constantly. I love her style. I like that it's country music, but she really puts her own spin on it because I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of all the newer country, mostly, not all of it, but I don't like a lot of the newer country, but she really puts her own spin on it and it's really cool. Obviously, this song is not one of her more country songs. I love all of her country stuff, but I also like that she's getting into some different territory with this type of stuff. I think it's cool. I think it's really awesome and it shows that she's a very versatile artist. So guys, I hope you have as much fun playing this song as me. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see y'all soon.